Um, I want to get your outlook for 17, okay, obviously, but just given what the, the market has done since the election, what, what's your take on yeah. that? And how, if anything, does that impact the way you look into next year? Yeah, I mean, I think the market right now is focusing on the positive. And, you know, it's certainly there is a lot to be positive about. Um, so, you know, our, our target or our year-end target for next year is 2300 on the S&P, which is, you know, not that far from where we are today. Not, you know, not really forecasting a great year. But I'll tell you that target is a little misleading because I think that what the market is focused on right now and what could prove to be a great year could turn the market into maybe, you know, one of the, the greatest years we've seen this bull market. So in our bull case scenario, we think the market could go as high as 2700 on the idea that policymakers deliver, we get stimulus, we get tax cuts, we get, you know, s slowly rising interest rates, we get, um, you know, kind of healthy inflation, and, um, you know, everything kind of comes in just right. Right. And that, I think, could put the market in, in, a, in a great uh, in great territory. 2700 is our bull case scenario. Um, and that's really predicated on the idea that what has been missing over the last seven years in this bull market has been that real push out of fixed income into equities. We've, we're still sitting at very tepid allocations to equities today. And we could finally see this great rotation we've all been talking about from fixed income into equities. We're already getting so that. that, would, that could, are we already getting that? And we're getting it. We are getting it. And we're getting a, you know, a little bit of it, but there's a lot more to go. I mean, remember, your average allocation to equities that Wall Street strategists are recommending is just about a little over 50%, which is very low relative to the benchmark of 60, 65%. So there is this wall of money sitting in fixed income that still has room to go into equities. Yeah, well, That's the good side of things. Tw 2,700 uh, on, on the S&P. So you just said the good side of things, and I know you're gonna then say, okay, here are the risks, so what are they? There's a big, right, right, exactly. So the risks are that policymakers fail to deliver. And I think, you know, like watching the market reaction over the last uh, month or two suggests that, you know, we're focused on the good, but what if we don't get it? Like a lot of these, these policy moves take a lot of time. Fiscal stimulus is gonna take time. Um, we've got a trillion dollars for the next 10 years in Trump's proposal, but do we get that much? How long does it take to, to ratify that? You know, what's the timing on actually seeing that money flow through the system? Um, you know, uh, I think a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, the fiscal stimulus beneficiaries like materials and industrial stocks have ripped on expectations. We've seen massive multiple expansion in that area of the market. But the question is, do we get that delivered to right. us? So in our bear case scenario, and this is where it gets less exciting, um, you know, we get disappointing uh, policy. We actually get the negative side of, of the policy proposals that we've all been talking about, which is trade wars, protectionism, stagflation rather than inflation. And I think all of that could turn the market into, or turn the economy into, instead of a boom, we could actually hit a recession sometime next year. Obviously not our base case, but um, but it's not off the table. Right. So right. in that scenario, we see, we see the market going as low as 1,600. So really kind of a binary year. You know, you could have a great last year of a, a bull market, 2,700. We could head into a recession.